Hello everyone. Have you ever been accused of doing something you did not do? Or maybe they accused you of something you did, but twisted it a bit. Like, let's say that uh, you went outside the back door. Like, hey, you went outside the back door, but you slammed the door really loudly. Now, let's say that you went out the back door, but you did not slam the door loudly. Like, you didn't even close the door. And you may say, well, Kevin, if I am accused of doing something I did not do, I will defend myself. And, and let me say this, in some cases, you may be able to. In some cases, you may be able to. But in some cases, it may not be too wise because if someone is accusing you of something you did not do isn't there a chance they are a liar perhaps a manipulator perhaps looking for trouble or maybe they have something in their mind to where what they imagine, even if it goes against actual real life, they will take their imagination first. So if there is someone like that, do you believe they will take what you say? probably there is a slight chance. So chances are they probably won't take what you say. If they don't take what you say, isn't there a possible chance that they will argue and probably escalate that argument so badly to where worse things happen? Have you, haven't you been in situations as this? If so, what do you believe is the best thing to do if someone accuses you falsely and they are this way? Probably the best thing to do is to not engage. Don't even defend yourself. If someone says that, hey, I saw you flying around in the sky and you was wearing a purple shirt, don't even engage it. If someone said, hey, I saw you robbing the bank and blah, 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 don't even engage it. Even if they go behind your back, telling people this, telling people that, it may be very hurtful, but I am a firm believer that even if people talk about you, the truth comes out. So if someone goes behind your back and do so much lying, then let's say after months, after a year, after whatever amount of time, let's say they find out that person was lying. So now that person will be known as a liar. I hope this is making sense. You don't always have to defend yourself. Some people, you know, I was doing some research and I believe a lot of what makes us the way we are today, this may not be 100%, but I believe much of it is because of our childhood. So whatever happened in your childhood may affect you how you are today. 
So if someone wants to fuss and make arguments and accuse you of things falsely, and if you try to defend yourself, it makes things worse, what can you say? Hey, that person has some type of issue. And I guess with some issues, I don't think it can be gotten over within a short time period. I guess it can, but perhaps it is going to take time. Like, for instance, um, I believe it was in the book of Matthew. I think it was speaking about um, a lunatic, a person that was cutting himself and doing other stuff in a particular, I don't know if it was in the graves, but he was acting abnormally. Now, a person can say, hey, that person has a mind problem. But what was going on, it wasn't just a mind problem to where, you know, I guess in these times, someone would probably prescribe medication for that person. No. That person had a legion of demons in them. So what could peels do for someone that has so many demons in them. Let me say this. If you intend to be a true servant of Jesus Christ, I am not saying you are going to do everything right. I am not saying you are going to be 100% perfect. But if you intend to be a true servant of Jesus Christ, you are going to be done wrong and you can't retaliate in a bad way. You can't do it. You cannot do it. So if someone acts in that type of way very badly and they don't want you to challenge their bad behavior, the best thing that you probably can do is not say too much about it, not say anything about it. Because if they are immature enough or demonic enough to act worse when you approach, th approach them on their behavior, like, what can you really do? How many times have you tried approaching them on their behavior? How many times did things become worse when you tried explaining yourself and blah, 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 blah? So what can you really do? I think it is time to close your mouth. It is time to be quiet. It is time to maybe you have prayed about it. Continue to pray about it perhaps even fast. We don't know everything about a person. I believe some people may have gone through some very traumatic experiences that we may not know of. Sometimes people are going through traumatic experiences now. Who knows? But stop getting yourself in trouble because a person chooses to act unseemly. Like for instance, if I begin to act like a person who has no brain, acting really wild and like a heathen, why should you get yourself into trouble? Because I provoked you, because I called you names and spoke poorly about your mama and all that street mess like that street mess that's street mess man why get yourself in trouble because of me you should not 
you need to learn to close your mouth and keep on moving forward. That is what we have to do. You may not feel good about it. You may not feel like you can appreciate, how can I say this? You may feel um, your feelings are not being appreciated or to where you can't express yourself or whatever. I understand that, but everything can't be about you. Sometimes you have to suffer for another person's sake. In this world, it is not only about ourselves, but it is about other people. We can't live for only ourselves. So sometimes we may have to go through bad things just because a person chose, is choosing, or going down the wrong path, if I am saying that correctly. So let me stop here. May God bless us.